everybody welcome back to the Ani Marie YouTube channel I'm so excited for this new series especially before New Year's and it is about virtue and vices virtue and vices um so we're gonna be dealing with uh, different vices that we have maybe we collected throughout the years and uh, experience in our life and how we can break those things and start bringing some virtues uh, that could help us to propel us to just be our, our better self to be um, who the Most High has called us to be and just if we want to be a better person all together so that's what we're gonna be dealing with so I'm very excited to do it today is the first part of a five-part series of virtues and vices and today we're going to be dealing with anger anger and uh the virtue to anger is patience patience so we're going to deal with anger and patience and i hope that you guys enjoy and i hope that you would subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't yet and um put comments uh like the videos and let me know how you feel i i really want to know uh, i love you guys and i hope that you enjoy to uh, today's topic that we're going to be talking about specifically is anger uh, and when we talk about anger uh, that's a vice that can really hold us back can really push us back and uh, the virtue to anger is going to be patience so that's what we're going to talk about today so a virtue is a behavior of showing high moral standards and that's what we want to get into we're talking about 2022 we're talking about new year a better us, not just a new us, but a better us. And in order for us to do that, we need to start living in these virtues, no longer being com um, confound to these vices that we've been dealing with for a long time. So these vices that we deal with are immoral or wicked behavior. Uh, these behaviors that we've been dealing with, we have dealt with it for so long that it became the norm. The vices that we deal with, they have became the norm. Uh, it's, this immoral or wicked behavior is the behavior you know we have been created for the virtue side of it but the things that we have dealt with in our life so far has dealt with immorality it has dealt with uh wickedness uh these harsh behaviors that we begin to believe is normal we begin to believe this is healthy you know my parents have dealt with it their parents dealt with it their parents dealt with it is something that is the norm uh, this lie that we have been fed through through generations has eventually become the truth because it's all we know and that's what we're talking about so we're gonna we, we're gonna break out of these vices and step into our virtues so the first one that we're gonna be dealing with today is uh, anger okay anger is a strong feeling of annoyance displeasure even hostility. A vice is something that if you put something that would grow in it, it locks down so hard you wouldn't be able to grow. And that's the same thing for us. When we have vices in our life, it doesn't allow us to grow. It doesn't allow us to be better. It will put us in a place where we will not be able to grow. So we're going to take and break through some of these vices and step into the virtues that won't allow us to be locked into this vice. And the vice that we're talking about today is anger, a strong feeling of annoyance. <clears throat> okay, let's get to it. There's three ways that we can express anger. All right. And I wanna, I'm going to list these three things because this is more going to be like a teaching this week. Right. That's why we're going to have question and answer. So I want you to put in out of the three ways that I list that you express your anger. I want you to put in the comments. The first way that we can express our anger is expressing it. All right, so I want you to put this in the comments. Number one, when you get angry, do you express it? So what I mean by is that when you get angry, do you react? I want you to put, so, so that's number one. I express it, but often very loudly. Okay, I want you to list what the biggest one is, what you normally do. Number one is expressing your anger. Number two is suppressing your anger. And number three is calming. Okay, so we're one, I want you to put one for expressing. I want you to put two for suppressing. I want you to put three for calming. And I want you to, I want to know, I, I, I need, I, I want to step into people's minds. I want to feel your energy, one and two. Okay, thank you, Lady T. Uh, expressing, suppressing, and calming. Okay, how do, how do you, when you get angry, what do you do? Do you express it? That's number one. Okay, preacher, what, uh, when you get angry, what do you do? Do you suppress it? 
do you do you close it up, shut it out? Um, and number three, uh, do you are is it calming? When you get angry, do you just calm yourself down? You know. Three, it takes me a while to get angry. Okay. All right. See, there we go. All right, OG. OG says he. It, it, they express and then they say they calm. Okay. Uh, some flower says it's calming. What about keeping it inside? Oh, we about to step into it <laughs> because because I can't I can't have these emotions and not become better with it. The way it becomes a vice for us is if we don't use these emotions the right way. And that's why it locks down in some in a certain way. Issues that bother us then builds up. Okay, that's the suppressing. That's that's what Lady T is tapping into. That's the suppressing that we're talking about. All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about is ex expressing. Let, let's let's jump into suppressing. When we get angry, we suppress it. What does that mean? We ignore the feeling of it, and we focus on something else. Thank you, Lady T. Have we heard this before? Have we felt this before? Have we dealt with this? We saw something we didn't like. We began to get angry and you said, you know what? I'm going to focus on this. Okay. I'm going to focus on work. Suppressing. We're talking about anger. Anger is a vice. Great rising gorgeous. Uh, great, um, anger is a vice. Suppressing is when we begin to ignore and we focus on something else so you just made me angry thank you for sharing the live you just made me angry and instead of me doing something about it what I do is I hold it in the inside I direct that energy back into me and I ignore it and focus on something else let's get a little bit deep right now if I if the most high gave me an expression to use an emotion to use okay lady T an emotion to use why would I choose to be him and take away what he has given me to do something else if he has given me an emotion to feel angry and I take that very emotion and I put it to the side to direct myself to deal with something else and ignore it then I'm not trusting the process uh, that the Most High has given me to use. Splash, hey love, all right? So we're suppressing something we're supposed to have. We're, 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 we're removing, we're removing something that we're supposed to be feeling, okay? All right, so let's get deeper. The other thing that we do when we suppress our anger is we become to use um, pathological expressions. Mel, thank you. Hey, Star. What does that mean? Pathological expressions is instead of me dealing with what it is, I'm using different avenues. Pathological. Different avenues. So we hear pathological liars. Pathological liars, they lie any type of way. They do white lies. They do hardcore lies. Um, they do lies of um, delusional liars. Uh, so when we... When we suppress our anger, we step into pathological expressions of anger. And pathological expressions of anger, one could be uh, when we're passive aggressive. We don't choose to deal with the anger that we're feeling, but we choose to come to a place to um, indirectly deal with it. You know, I don't want to deal with being mad and I don't want to address it, but I'm going to throw jabs. Oh, I don't like how you talk to me, but I'm not going to come to you to talk about, I don't like how you talk to me. When you start talking to me the rest of the day, I'm going to be throwing, uh, I'm going to be throwing jabs at you. And you don't even know, a lot of times the people don't even know why you're angry. But yet we do things like that. So then we become passive aggressive behavior. Another way we can deal with it is when we just get personally hostile. Our personality gets hostile because we're not dealing with this anger or how we feel or expressing something that is building up on the inside that we begin to do little things that are hostile. Slam the cabinet door, push the chair in, uh, ignore you, say something, okay, okay, sunflower, say something, say something that is hurtful. Okay, criticizing, putting people down. We start, we start taking out our anger and bringing it somewhere else instead of dealing with it ourselves. We throw it out. So the anger that I have, I don't deal, I feel it. I don't deal with it. I push it down in me, but I'm letting the anger channel of energy be released in hurting people. Hurt people, hurt people. That's, and that's what we're doing. Criticizing people, bring people down, being cynical. 
those things. Big Me Kate. Thank you. I love you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you, Sunflower. Okay, so let's keep going. So when we suppress our anger, we're ignoring the very thing that the Most High gave us to use. You know, it's not for us to live in anger. And listen to this. When people believe that, oh, I'm not living in anger because I suppressed it. You are, though. It's just hidden. People will believe that, oh, no, I don't live in anger. I don't, okay, Cash, I don't stay in anger. No, yes, you are. You suppress it. It's hidden. It's under. Okay? So, l let me give you an example. If you have $100 and you put it under your rug, you still have $100, right? I mean, who am I talking to? You may not have it on you, it may not be outside, but when somebody says, what, how much funds do you have? You have to count that hundred because it's in your possession. Well, guess what? When we suppress our anger, the anger is still in our possession. We may not be showing it, but the energy has to go somewhere. For Ken, hey love, no anger, no fears, no worries. Okay, King, talk about it. Did, did, did you hear me? The energy of that anger has to go somewhere. There has to be some type of release, you know, and if it's there for Ken, love you, Jade. Hey, love, love you. Hope you had a happy holidays for Ken. Um, right. So the energy is there regardless. So let's let's move on. So that's suppressing our anger. I get mad about something. I don't say nothing. I keep it inside. I don't like how something happened, but I don't say nothing. I keep it inside. You know, when we're not OK, preacher, when we're not assertive about ourselves. So is, is suppressing our anger okay? We're going to talk about it. The Most High says that we are not to live in it. So if we choose to suppress it for a moment because we have wisdom. Thank you, Cash. Because we choose to suppress it for a moment because we have wisdom. We're just not supposed to live in it. That's what he says. This thing. Have you ever, I want, to, I want to know, have you ever dealt with someone? Thank you, Cash. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you for Ken. Have you ever dealt with someone that will not say nothing for a month, two months, three, couple weeks, and then they just blow up and they vomit everything that's been happening or everything, all their feelings. Last two weeks ago, you did this. If you, if you ever dealt with that, put a one in the comments. People that hoard all their feelings on the inside, their anger stays on the inside and piles up, piles up, piles up until that anger just <laughs> hits the roof and it just spills over and then they just start, okay, AJ, welcome for it. Okay, okay, Sunflower, okay, Cash. And they, because, okay, Coco, and they can't, because they can't deal with the original feeling. They can't deal with the original emotion of the anger. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to sit there and discuss. They don't want, you know, and, 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 and it just comes all out. And it's to the point that it's enraging, you know. They can't even talk that they're so upset. You know, blood pressure goes up. So it builds all up and then they throw it up. But who is it helping? You know, when we begin to deal with keep anger on the inside, it releases stress hormones. Oh, it doesn't matter. I didn't say nothing about being angry. Well, guess what? You're making yourself sick. Did we know that? We can physically make our bodies sick by not expressing our emotions that we feel. So guess what? When we bottle all these emotions, when we're dealing with people and we're in relationships with people, and then, okay, sunflower, and then we throw it up a month and a half later, who is more important to you? Okay, we're about to tap into some things. Thank you, Most High. Who is most important to you? Are you important to yourself? Or is the person that you're dealing with more valuable than who you are? Is the relationship that you feel because you're more scared of being alone? You're more scared of being lonely. You're more scared of being single. Than you care about yourself or your health. Okay, Keys. Lady T, okay. We're, we're gonna. I bottle up this anger inside myself for a month and a half until I release it. Why? Because I value my relationship more than I do my health. My physical health. Are we listening? Why? Because I'm choosing not to deal with something because I don't want my relationship to be rocky. 
I'm putting my health on the line because I care about my relationship with someone more than I do my health. All right. Gash, thank you. Ah, Sally, I love you. When we house this anger, it releases stress hormones. So when, you, when we are in a relationship and I say to them, you know, you're killing me. You know, words is life, right? We have power of life and death in our tongue. And the real thing is we're speaking and we don't even know it's actually we're, we're living it. When we say to someone, you're killing me because we get angry and angry and we suppress that thing on the inside. We, our body doesn't allow us to live. If the most high's instructions was do not live in anger, he has created our body. So our body will follow the instructions. Sally Mae. Did you hear that? Do you see how deep that is? You choose not to listen to destructions, but your body was created by his word. And his word says for you not to live in anger. So guess what? If you live in anger, your body's going to start reacting to it. It's going to reject it. And how does the body reject anger? Okay, come on, Lady T. It begins to release stress hormones, which raises our blood pressure. Which high blood pressure makes us sick. It's not even all for just what we're eating. It's what we deal with every day. Our body is saying this is not how it's supposed to be. If you don't know who you are and you choose to live in something that you're not, the Most High will find ways to get you out of the vices that you're in. Come on. The vice is the lockdown. The vice is the lever that's tightening and tightening. And the more we want to tighten vices in our life, the more that the Most High will loosen that thing up. We don't know what's going on. I don't know. Come on, Lady T. I don't know how this is happening. The Most High will bring in uh, and start loosening these vices up in our life. Why, why do I feel so sick? Uh, the doctor's saying, have you been stressed out? I mean, it's, it's the same thing. I mean, are, 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 you, are you dealing with anger? I, I, I don't, um, yeah, sometimes are you expressing it? No, no, not really. Yeah, you need to release your emotions so you can not deal with distress. Oh, so it's all connected. Thank you, Cash. Hey, Money, welcome for it. Uh, DGB, hey, love. All right, let's keep going. So one of the things we were dealing with was suppressing anger. The next thing I'm going to talk about is expressing anger. If you're the person that gets angry and you got to say what you got to say, I want you to put a one in the comments. If you're the type of person that gets angry, I see you disrespecting me or something like that, I'm going to let you know. I want you to put a one in the comments. Came to a point in our life to recognize that I'm more valuable than my situations. And I'm more valuable than my relationships. Thank you, Ken. I speak up, but not in anger. Okay, okay, Sunflower. So we can be in a place where we begin to react because we're upset. Or we can begin to a place to uh, evaluate and then respond. You see that? I can feel the anger, but when I express it, you're not going to feel it. That's deep. I feel the anger, but when I express and talk to you, yes, okay, thank you. Thank you, Cash. Yes, I sit on it for a minute before I respond. Okay, Monroe. Okay, Sunflower. Yeah, I feel the anger, but when I'm expressing it, you won't even know if I, that I was mad. That that part. That's some that's some real skill. That's some real knowledge and wisdom to be able to express yourself to someone when you just was angry and for them to not even know that you was mad. Mmm. Okay, when we bottle up, we create self-sabotage. Talk about a preacher. And it's real. Okay. Hey, Truth. So listen to... Thank you, Cash. So listen to this. When, we, when we're expressing it, we let out something. But a lot of times, we can feel something. I, let me bring this to our knowledge. Air, welcome for love. Let, let, let me talk about this real quick. Let's see if we ever dealt with this before. Have you ever dealt with feeling something and you were wrong press press put a one in the comments if you ever felt something if you ever got angry about something and then you addressed it and then you was completely wrong 
I want you to put a one in the comments. You you thought somebody had maliciously ate your food, something crazy. Okay, Sally Mae, okay, Coco, Coco. Oh, okay, Cash. You thought something crazy, yeah, I mean, you was ready to turn up. You 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 turned up. You, you how did you, why, how dare you? What, what did you do, you know? All this, okay, Star, what, what, how, what, you know? And then, and then they could, they, no, I actually didn't eat it. I think blah, 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 they're the one who, Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't, I, I, my bad. I didn't mean to. So it tells us right there, we can feel emotions, but they always don't mean it's right. And do we love and appreciate, come on, Sunflower, our energy enough to deal with what's real? Do we love ourselves enough and the energy that we house? Do we really believe what we feel on the inside is priceless? Do we really believe the energy that we have on the inside? I can't just waste anywhere. I can't just put all my energy into something and not really know. I value my energy more than that to waste it just anywhere. I want my energy to be focused on my divinity. I want my energy to be focused on me being better. And somebody messing something up to get me angry. I'm not going to release my energy there unless I know I have to. See, when we love ourselves more at the end of the day, we care about the response. Who am I talking to, king and queens? Did you hear what I said? When we love ourselves more at the end of the day, Brandy, thank you, love, then we care about our response. Why? Because we care about our energy. My energy is more valuable than you eating my food that's in the fridge. I'm just saying. L let me get a little bit deeper. My energy is more valuable than me uh, addressing you cheating on me or doing something to me and it not be real or not be right or I'm not sure. My energy is valuable enough that I will make sure that I'm sure before I respond to you. Okay, are we listening, Devin? If this is good, put a one in the comments. <laughs> if this is good, if, 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 you're, if you're soaking us in and you're hearing me, I want you to put a one in the comments because then I'll keep going. Okay, Sunflower. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Uh, listen, I want you to put a one in the comments if this is good for you. Okay, Cash. Okay, Monroe. All right, because we're going to step out of this. This is great. <laughs> right, Brandy? We're we going we gonna to step out of this vice of anger. I, I'm, I'm going to step out, and it's not, it's not easy. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into some things in, in, in a few, but we're going to talk about expressing is releasing. I feel angry, so I let you know. I'm talking about just responding. I mean, just reacting. I just react, react, react. I feel angry. I react. I feel angry. I react. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you, love. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the gifts. You guys helping me get to five stars. I love you. I, I, I react. I react. Okay. So, so I just react because I feel this thing. Doesn't the word say be angry but sin not? If I just react, then I'm going to sin. If I just react, then I'm going to do harm. If I just react, I'm, I'm wasting my energy. But if I begin to evaluate the situation and then respond, then I'm valuing what's on the inside. When we allow people, when we allow ourselves to just react, then we're saying that who we are and what we house on the inside is not as important as the situation. Hmm. I value who I am more than this relationship. I value my energy that I've been blessed with to see another day, to live another day, to do right, to do more. I value it more on the inside than what this is. So we talk about expressing. So expressing our anger is going to do more harm to us than good. That means if we express it and just to just react, because I feel this way, I'm going to get mad. If I feel this way, I'm changing my energy. No, no, no. My energy is more valuable than this. Okay. And the last thing that we the third thing that how we deal with anger is calming. What do we mean by calming? What are you talking about, Candy? When I begin to feel anger, I calm myself down. Calm myself so much so to the point that I remove it. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna test some things, king and queens, to see if they can cash, to see, to see where where our mental state is. Is it, is that something good? Is it good to 
feel angry, calm yourself down until it goes away. I didn't say that's, and that's all you do. I didn't say you don't do anything else. All I said is you feel angry about something, you calm yourself down, so much so that you remove the anger completely. And that's it. You move, and then you go on about your day. Okay, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about Susan right now. If there's any Susans that's in here, I'm definitely not talking about you. <laughs> this is an example. I want you guys to let me know it, what Susan's situation is good or not. Okay, so here we go. So Susan is in a relationship with Dave, and Dave says to Susan. I don't like when you answer that. You're so stupid. He says to her, right? So Susan begins to, she gets angry because he called her stupid. But what she begins to do is she calms herself down. She's really angry. She calms herself down in her head. So much so that she forgets that she's angry. She, she's not angry anymore. And she goes on to make dinner. Shorty Brad, hey gorgeous, thank you so much for the time. Becky Snow, hey love. So if if Susan was angry, she calmed herself down, she's no longer angry, and she went about her day. What Susan did was it right? If you feel what Susan did was right, put a one in the comments. If you feel okay, Shorty, if you feel what Susan did was wrong, put a two in the comments. If Susan was right, put a one in the comments. We're, 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 we're all, we're going to be engaging today. We're going we're gonna to figure out some things today. If you feel what Susan did was right, put a one in the comments. If you feel what Susan did was wrong, put a two in the comments. I do it, laugh out loud, but it is two. Okay, shorty, we about to break out of these vices, shorty. We about to break out of these vices. They ain't going to have control of us no more. We're going to allow the virtue to have control over us now. Okay, all right, two, two. Okay, Betty, I see you, love. Hey, gorgeous. Um, honey, welcome forward. Okay, two, all right. So people that answer two. Oh, Prime, love you, King. Thank you for responding. Katrina, okay, Katrina says one. She did what was right because she, she she calmed herself down. She wasn't angry no more. She went about her day. She Susan said, oh, you're not going to take my energy. Sunflower, thank you, Sunflower. I love you. Thank you for the gift. Thank you, thank you. Um, so Susan decided to, l listen, thank you, honey. Susan decided to, Taylor, Susan decided to say, oh, oh, you're not taking my energy. You want to call me stupid. You ain't going you ain't, you ain't to take my energy away. I'm going to calm this anger down because I ain't using my energy on you. And I'm going to be about my day. So Katrina said, yo, yeah, I think what she did was right. And we had a lot of people say, no, what Susan did was wrong. The thing is, the way Susan responded did not respect herself. Jeffrey, welcome forward, King. And that's where the error is. She respected her energy, but she did not respect herself. You see that? When we become, be, when we be more assertive about who we are and how we feel, what you're telling me is Dave doesn't care about me. Okay, Katrina, come on. I didn't, she didn't respect herself because she allowed someone to disrespect her and she didn't say nothing, so it's okay. Hmm, trainer, hey love. If you allow someone to call you out your name, but don't say nothing because you know what, I, I ain't even, I ain't stunting them. But they your husband or wife? They your spouse that deal with you every day, brother, sister, children? You know, I ain't letting them have my energy. Well, who's standing up for you? I got a question. Thank you, trainer. Thank you, love. Who's standing up for you? No. What Susan did, part of what she did was right because she shouldn't just respond. So she chooses to calming. But that calming is a... Mm, that calming is... is it, it, it needs to come to a place so there's still a release. There is a reason... Okay, okay, Mosa, I, I, I'm not going to try to get loud and scream or nothing like that. You are worthy enough for what you feel. Do you hear me? You deserve to have a voice. Enough with this suppressing and calming. You deserve to have a voice. Be 
because your voice is important. And if I deal with people that don't allow me to be feel important enough to express how I feel, then I don't need to be connected to them. Come on, king and queens. I don't need to be connected to them if you're not allowing me to be me. Because the more you want me to, to suppress my emotion and, 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 and calm my emotion, ignore it, is the more that you're not allowing me to be my authentic self. Okay, Prime. Okay, King. Okay, Mia. Okay, Sunflower. You're not allowing me to be me. First of all, you shouldn't be calling me out of my name. And I have all right to be angry at you. But guess what? My energy is more valuable than your ignorance. See, the calming is okay if we're in the street. I don't know you. You want to sit there and call me stupid. That that, that don't... Listen, some if somebody I don't know could say something crazy to me and it won't it doesn't it doesn't mean nothing to me. You know why? Because they don't. And what I mean by that is I'm not with you 24/7 if you can't be yourself, are you really living that part? If you can't be yourself, who do they really love? If I can't be me, but you say you love me, then who are you loving? If I cannot be me, and I can't be me to, to a point where I make my decisions in my life, then whose life is it? That's what the queen's saying. That's what Sunflower's saying. Okay, and whose life am I living then? The life you think I should live, or am I living for me? Thank you. You see what the queen says, if you can't be yourself, are you really living? Okay, Katrina. Okay, Prime. Okay, Coco. Okay. Jason, hey, welcome back, love. So, no. I'm going to stand up for me because you shouldn't be calling me stupid. Because if you really did love me, you wouldn't call me stupid and you'd help me understand. If you think I did something stupid, you love me enough to help me understand so I don't, won't be stupid. Come. Do you care about calling me, okay keys, do you care about calling me names or you care about helping me be better? What is it? Are you sitting here harassing me that I don't got a job and I've been trying to look and all this stuff and I'm a deadbeat? Are you helping? Do you see me trying to be better? And are you helping me be better? Or you keep saying words to bring me down in my ear? Do you really love me? Because if you love me, you want me to grow. If you love me, you will see me better. You, if you love me, you will want me to help myself. Okay, Leslie, I see you. Okay? Thank you, Most High. So what we have to do is, when I feel angry, there's a reason. And I want to tell you something. The way I, the way I was able to understand this, I'm going to tell you two things. The way, two testimonies. The way I was able to understand this is I went to a therapist when I was in a relationship. My ex-relationship, my last relationship, I was, went to therapy with them. We went to couples therapy, right? Marriage therapy, whatever you call it. No, not marriage, just couple because we wasn't married. <laughs> went there. You know, he had an issue with anger. So what would happen is when he got angry, he would start expressing himself, screaming on top of his lungs, all this stuff like that. And what would Candy do? Candy would sit back. Lauren, welcome for Queen. Leslie, thank you, love. James. Candy would sit back and allow them to do what they do. You know, uh, yeah, let them express themselves so they could get it all out, so they could begin to calm down. And now I could respond. Great rising, gorgeous. So when they would calm down, I would wait, 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 and just not deal with my anger. I went to the calming, so much so that I didn't think about it anymore. I let them scream, yell, express their anger, listen to what they had to say. Why did I do that? Keisha, welcome for gorgeous. Why did I do that? Because 
I knew that if I got angry or said anything, hey, love, Quan, if I said anything, they would get even more angry. And then I could risk them maybe possibly abusing me or something like that. So I didn't let it escalate by me adding my feelings to it. I just always let them express their feelings. So when we went to the therapist and the and a couple's counseling, we went there. It, it, she said, she said, okay, so when he's doing all this stuff, what do you do? I said, I don't do nothing. She said, are you angry? I said, yeah, I'm very angry. She said, so what happens when you're angry, Candy? When you're angry, Annie Marie, what happens? I said, nothing. I just, I don't say nothing. Because if I say something, then it's going to escalate and it could be worse. Where it could be a physical altercation or something, I don't know. It's going to make him worse if I talk about what I'm mad about. So, so Katrina, thank you, love. Thank you, Leslie. So what happened? Um, good vibes. I love your glasses, Grace, and you're, you've been anointed. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'll praise the Most High. We love him like that. He always takes care of us, right? So, so she said, that's not healthy. I said, what you mean? I said, I'm trying to protect myself and our relationship and him by not expressing what I'm feeling. She said, so how is it okay for him to be able to express his anger, but you're not? She said, there's nothing healthy about that. So I want you to hear something, King and Queens. And that's when I recognize that that's real. Our emotions are supposed to be expressed. Now, how we express it is the key. We have to do it the right way. <laughs> thank you, Prime. Nine, thank you. We have to express it the right way. Our emotions, we have to have a, a certain emotional intelligence about how we feel. I need to express how I feel because I need to talk about me being my authentic self. But at the same time, guess what? I need to be able to uh, do it the right way. And that's the key thing. So when we are angry, we must express it because it's not healthy to keep it inside. And it's not healthy to calm yourself down so much so to the point you forget about why you were angry because you're worth more than that. You're worth more than calming your anger, King. You're more, okay, you're worth more than calming your anger, Queen. King, you have a voice and the Most High gave it to you for you to use it. And Queen, you have a voice and the Most High gave it to you for you to use it. Okay? For us to stand for ourselves. Defend our worth. Talk about who we are. I'm a child of the king. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. My enemies will be my footstool. Come on. I shall do greater things. Come on, Pebbles, than he, he, he has, my father. Okay, I've been given a voice to use, to speak those promises over my life, to remember. So I will not be in a relationship that shuts out who I am. We're wondering why we forget who we are so much because you're connected to people that constantly remind you of who you are every day. That constantly pull you away from who you are. Thank you, Leslie. Hey, eyes. Hey, ADA. Let's keep moving. The second thing in the testimony I'm going to talk about is dealing with the real life. Okay, now you know, Candy. Now you know about anger. So every time you get mad, Candy, everything's all good. You just, you're able to just walk a straight line and pay attention to the teacher and everything's good and sit nice. That's how Candy is now that I understand that anger is not something that I hold inside. No, it's hard. What you mean? For people in the street to say something to me, that, that, that part's easy for me. Because I don't owe you nothing. You want to curse me out when we're driving, oh, that's fine. I mean, it, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't change my energy. I don't have a bad day because you said something and called me out of my name. I know who I am. Listen to where, listen to where I'm going. But the hard part for us is the people that said that they love us, that they're the ones who get us angry. They're the ones we feel like harmed us or did us wrong. That's when it starts getting a little bit difficult now. And what I'm talking to you is when I deal with me and I'm dealing with my situations in my life with other people, it's hard. If they do something that gets me angry, I need to sit down. And the funny thing is I use all three of these. And what I mean by 
I'm not going to say all three. I use two. I use one and two, which is expressing and calming. But I calm myself first because I got to start thinking logical. I want you guys to think back. I want all my king and queens to think back. Have you ever made a decision being angry that you wouldn't have if you wasn't? Put a one in the comments. What I mean is, when you was angry, you made a decision. But if you was in your right mind and you wasn't mad, you would have never made that decision. I want you to put a one in the comments. Because I'm there. Because I, I, I'm, I'm a felon because of it. I allow my emotions to control me. And not think of it. Come on now. Okay, let's. Okay. If you ever was so angry you couldn't think clear. And you made a decision that you would have never made if you wasn't angry. And they were bad decisions. Come on, Prime. Okay, Leslie. Okay, Katrina. Okay, Sunflower. Okay, all right. We all been there. So we've been there before. But what I have to do is, I was I, in, in, in a relationship with family, I had to stop and I had to calm myself down because I was so angry. I said, and I said to myself, I said, I said, Auntie Marie, you look, you're so pissed right now. You're so angry. Is it worth it? That's the, I, I had to stop myself and say, is it worth it? And I, I played devil's advocate with myself. Yeah, because I don't treat them like that. And they shouldn't do this to me. And it's not fair. Listen, this is when I say we got to begin to evaluate some things and then respond. Not just react off of our anger. And that's when we start dealing with the virtue. What is the virtue when we step out of the vice of anger? It's patience. It's patience. If we have more patience, we deal with l less anger that we live in. Okay, Prime. We deal with less anger that we live in. I didn't say us not to be mad because we need to know what's wrong so we can live in what's right. We need to know what's wrong so we can stay on the right. I need to have and feel anger so I know where I shouldn't be. What if we always just felt good? How do we know that we, how, if we never felt anger, we wouldn't know that we're in a bad situation. We wouldn't know that we're in a bad relationship. No, the Most High had gave us feelings. Hey, love. The Most High gave us feelings so we can have warning signals, sadness, loneliness, depression, anger. Okay, okay, preacher. Helps us to stay on track on who and where we should be. That's why he calls us not to live in it because that's not what we were made for. We wasn't made to live in anger. We wasn't made to live in sadness, loneliness, depression. We wasn't made to live. It's the warning signals to say, ah, 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 ah. this ain't where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be on this side. You're supposed to be happy, patient, authentic. Come on. We're supposed to be all these things. No, living those things and not in these things. <laughs> Slim, hey, love. Thank you, Sunflower. So, I have to calm myself down and say, is it really worth it? Is it that serious? I got to talk to myself like, I got to play devil's aggro. Yeah, but they don't, in my mind, this is what's going on in my mind. So when I say I have to I start calming myself down, because one thing that I do know is saying anything out of anger ain't going to work. Do we want to just talk because we want to talk? Do we want to we want to address the situation because we want somebody just to hear our, our mouth yapping? Or do we want growth to happen? Or do we want an understanding to come? Because, honey, if you are on fire and you are so pissed, guess what? They ain't going to hear nothing you're saying. So you're going to have to wheel that thing in. Because do you care about growth more or you care about they hear what you have to say? Are we past that immature stage? immature stage to say, you know, I was right. I don't care about right or wrong. What I care about is why you did what you did so I can figure out how we can grow from this thing. Or I can figure out if you're even growing. Or if I can figure out if you even care about me growing. It's more important to me. What's important to you? Your voice? Or the growth? Or seeing where the person is at? testing some things to see if this is a quality relationship but if we just go off the handle and start screaming and all this stuff because of how we feel it ain't helping nobody we're losing energy and they ain't hearing nothing we're saying 
okay? I can't, I know, I'm, I'm mature enough to know that I can't even think clear if I'm angry. Come on, Katrina, we old enough to know who, we old enough to know how we feel. We old enough to know ourselves. Okay, Leslie? I'm old enough to know when I'm angry, I don't want to hear nothing. So I need to come. Okay, Kalido. Hey, Kalido. Okay, love. Thank you for being a fan too. You see? So no, I gotta calm down. And I be talking to myself because I be pissed. I I'm not. I'm. I ain't hold you know. I be upset. It's not all the time. It's like some people are saying. It takes a lot for me to get there. It's not all the time. Trust me. It's not all the time. But when I think. When you have patience, it's not all the time. But when I say, like, I can't believe, like, I'd be like, man, I just want to. And I, I say, is it that serious? That's the first. I mean, they'd be like the angel devil on me. I'm telling you, they, is that serious? You really would. You, you, you want to go toe to toe now for what? Is it that serious? Do we have to do this right now while you're so upset? Or do you have to say what you have to say? Is It's not that serious. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not that serious. And, and I, I see the growing in me every day. And I'm not saying, and, and that, that has nothing to do with saying I got it all together. That's saying I, I see me working on me every day. Because I'm, I'm a work, a piece of work. Do you hear me? Maybe we're more critical on ourselves than we are. But I know there's things that I got I to gotta deal with and I got to be better. And I'm trying every day. I try every day. And if we really truly say we love ourselves, then we don't want to just go off of anger. Hey, Starks, peace more important than being right. Come on, Kalido. Chef, hey, love. Rhonda, Prime. Peace is way more important. Growth is a, a lifelong journey, right? We never stop growing. Come on, Sunflower. Talk about it, Queen. It's real. We don't ever stop growing, and we shouldn't want to. We should want the growth more than we want the voice, more than we want to say something or do something, you know? So here we go. So what my, my point of bringing that up is I have to stop and sit, and sometimes it's not what we think it is. Sometimes we get angry because we just see the surface and we don't really understand why people do it. Sometimes they do it and they don't know. Sometimes they're doing it and they, they had they had a good heart for why they was doing it, but they just it went about it the wrong way. It's a lot of things that go on in the background. And when we understand things are not just surface, there's layers to this, then we don't just fly off the handle. Because if I'm gonna give my an, an, my anger out and my energy to anger, it takes a lot more energy to dish it out in negativity than positivity. And we know that. It takes a lot more energy for me to try to bring somebody down than to bring them up. If that ain't real, put a one in the comments if that's truth. If it's true, it takes a lot more energy for me to bring someone down than to bring them up. It takes me more energy to bring someone down than to bring them up. You know why? Because it's more energy exhausted on negativity. If you're doing something negative, you got to use more energy. If you're doing something positive, you use less energy. Why is it like that? Because we're not supposed to be living in negativity. Our body, our mind, our soul is not created for it. It was created to have a feeling to know that we're supposed to be in the good lane, in the right lane, and positivity. We're supposed to live there. It helps us for signals, warning signals. The fire is hot on the stove. It, it, it will burn me. That means that doesn't mean that I'm never going to cook in my life. No, I'm supposed to cook. <laughs> it just means that I understand certain things. Right? It literally exhausting. It is Why would why would the creator create our bodies to uh, release stress hormones when we're in neg negative things because we're not supposed to be there right it is thank you Starks it is it's exhausting because we're not supposed to be using that much energy it's not supposed to be working like that right so what I'm trying to say is I had to sit there and calm myself down and then begin to Ask myself the questions that I need to know in order to help the situation elevate, to help the situation to be better, help the relationship to be better. Not just express why I'm angry, but no, let there be a growth, a growth lesson here. I have to think about everything in order for it to be a growth lesson. 
okay? And it can't happen if I just react. So let's step into it. So what do I need? I need to be more patient. I need to live in the virtue of patience. I was thinking the same thing, right? I need to live in the virtue of patience because I'm more valuable than that. You heard me say it all the time. I'm going to say it to you, King of Queens. How do I break out of this vice of anger? Being angry all the time. This thing annoys me. That thing annoys me. I don't like how they're, they're doing this. Doing, they're doing that. This causes displeasure. This causes hostility. Everything is just always having a negative attitude. That creates me to always to be angry. That's not what we're supposed to be. And we're supposed to be living in patience. It's a necessary trait to live a happy and fulfilled life. Patience, virtue, is a necessary trait to live a happy and fulfilled life. Patience will get us greater understanding. Patience will bring growth. Patience will help us to be better. Hmm. Patience will help us to find more value in who we are than what we're connected to. Oh, that might be too much for us. So I'm gonna say that again. Patience will help us to find value in who we are more than who we're connected to. Patience is more beneficial to you than the person you're dealing with. Okay, Sunflower, thank you, love. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate you. Right, Prime? Patience is more beneficial to you than the person or thing that you're trying to be patient about. Why? Because your energy costs more than whatever you're dealing with. Your energy is greater. Come on, pay, come on, sunflower. <laughs> your energy is greater than people, and your energy is greater than anything that you can be dealing with. It is hands down. I don't care what you're talking about. Well, my ch- children, they're addicted to drugs and this and that. Your energy is still more important than that. Oh, my energy is more important than my kids possibly dying. Yes. Because if you had no life, who is there to care for them? Who is there to love them? If you had no life, you wouldn't even be able to know or handle any situation that they're dealing with. Or even know of, or even pray about it, or even deal with it, or even help them. Okay, we're we're tapping into some things. My energy is way more valuable than that. Because I can't love my kids without my energy. So my kids' value can't be greater than mine. I gotta love myself more so I can love people better so patience is more beneficial to you than it is to the people because if you truly really really have a growth mentality and you want to grow if you truly truly love yourself and you really want to grow you have a growth mentality you will latch on to the virtue of patience and you won't want to live in and function in anger anymore you must express your anger why? Because you, you, you deserve more respect than that. Your voice needs to be heard. But how you do it is the key, king. And how you do it is the key, queen. And how that key helps you is patience. Because patience is key. Don't they say that? Patience is key. Patience.